Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Model Works, and in this week's video, we're going to look at some more upgrades we're making to the Tormach 440 mil. All right, so um, as you can see, we're still in temporary housing, but uh, that's going to be ending soon, well, soonish, um, thankfully. So things are going uh, really well here, actually. So um, our house here is sold. Um, we found a new house. Uh, the offer was accepted. Things are going well. So. Uh, life overall is going pretty well. Um, in addition to that, uh, I've been getting some orders in, so I've been been staying pretty busy. Uh, in order to meet those needs, I'm really having to juggle a little bit, and I'm trying to get as much out of the 440 as I can. Uh, the little 440 is a great little mill, right? It is a prosumer, it's a, you know, hobby, you know, high-end hobby mill, right? Um, and I bought it because at the time I was in a very small space and it was perfect for the space I was in. Um, now it's amazing. I, it, I couldn't have imagined that in the last year things would have exploded the way that it has. And so, um, you know, I've got an order for 700 handles and I've got the 440 to do it on. So, you know, it's actually capable of doing it, right? And so it's just a matter of thinking differently. Um, a lot of guys would see this and go, oh my God, Right, uh, I need a bigger machine. I need you know tool changers and pallets and all this stuff. And well, some of it, yeah, you do, um, but not everything. And it's just a matter of getting the most out of what you have and using what you have. Um, so one thing that I've noticed is that I need to be able to very quickly and easily reconfigure this uh, machine. Now, this is no different than any other um, than other any other uh, machine you might have. Um, I want to go from having a, one vice on it to having two vices on it to using little uh, quick change pallets and things of that nature. Um, may not be a huge work envelope, but I still want to be able to do that quickly and not spend a ton of time um, going in between. So uh, you may have seen some photos of the, um, I know I posted some of the drawings I've been working on and you know, layouts and things like that so I can do multiple parts at the same time. I uh, will take a look at, you know, I should have those playing in the background here, but um, I've gotten to a point where I'm actually putting this into practice. So I've got, you know, the plates in, you know, uh, the locating fixtures already on the table now that's dialed in. And uh, the next step was to get a vise um, in place. Now I didn't take any video of this part of it, but I actually put the vise on and I drilled locating pins. And so I've got nice quarter inch dowel uh, locating pins on the vise. And I think I got a picture here. Uh, let me post that. And uh, yeah, so I can just drop this on and off the table, known location. I got it dialed in, you know, to a, a couple of tenths, and I, I did it in you know 30 seconds, maybe a minute. But to do that, I had to you know spend a little time working. And so let's take a look at what that looks like, and uh, I'll show you just putting it in action real quick. This whole, I haven't looked at it again today though, but what I'd like to do.
I'm about a tenth off. Alright, so I was running all over on this uh, particular one. Um, so back and forth between... So I, I had all these prototype handles, but they were, I decided not to use that method of, um, of the uh, design. And so, but the handles were still good. So I ended up slicing them up so that I could take them over and uh, run the second operation one at a time. Um, so I'm back and forth between the the Tormach and you know cycle start kind of thing, and then you know make sure everything's working right. You know, do an inspection, check it out, get uh, get the stuff ready. They were all coming in off the saw, so they had you know chips all over the place, and then you know, back over to the saw swap out a part so it's cutting again come back over here change tools and this went on for a while <laughs> longer than i uh, care to uh, care to think about really um quick note about the shirt that shirt came to me from rj um if you're not checking out rj's channel you should because he's a pretty cool guy um he actually spends half the year or has spent half the year on numerous occasions in Antarctica uh, the fire station there so I um, got the shirt from him he is currently uh, doing a bunch of work on an old El Camino to get it ready for the hot rod power tour if I recall correctly so check out his channel I'll put a link in the description because uh, he's doing some good stuff and um, he's just a great guy in general so check out RJ and uh, let's get back to what I was doing here. So as you can see, handle was done. Toss it in the uh, in the bin with the others. Let's do a little close up of what the the handles actually look like. Um, you know what this operation is because um, it might be a little more interesting than watching me running all over the place.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video today. Um, I hope it made you think about different ways that you can leverage what you already have. You don't always have to run out and buy something new. Um, and the sneak preview, or I guess not really a sneak preview, uh, being able to see the drawbar, you know, the power drawbar um, on the 440 now. Uh, so that was released a few weeks ago, and um, I'm, I'm really happy with mine. It's made, my tool changes are so much faster. I'm able to really you know, knock stuff out now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, with that, let's, let's call it a wrap. I just wanted to, uh, again, say thanks. It's been a, a heck of a, a heck of a month. Um, the past couple of months have just been, actually this year, this year's been been uh, kind of crazy, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I, I appreciate all the the kind words, the comments uh, that I've gotten, um, you know, emails, phone calls, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, thanks again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.